Hey there, I'm Christoph from DataBridge. We love ClickCloud and because we do, we also develop ClickSense apps on ClickCloud. And there are a few pitfalls that I continuously trap into. I think it's better if you have a friend. And what's the perfect background music for this video? Pitfall number one is you start developing an app. Uh, in my personal space, you have developed a couple of sheets and then comes the moment of the moment for each developer. You're proud to share what you've come up with. You go to a, you publish the app into a managed space and enthusiastic that the users can now see it. They will tell you when they open the app that it has no sheets. You double check it even for you. It has no sheet. What has gone wrong? Probably we have this pattern from uh, developing ClickSense on Windows because when you developed an app there and published it, all the sheets were automatically published, no longer with ClickSense on Cloud. So you need to remember before you publish an app, you have to make all the sheets public that you want to share. And here comes pitfall number two, which is like associated to the fact because a sheet, even in your my personal uh, space, that is published cannot be changed. Probably you accidentally clicked on duplicate sheet and created a duplicate and then edit it. After that, you realize, oh, I'm working on a copy and not on the original sheet. In order to change a published sheet first, you have to mark it private again before you can make the change. Remember that you later need to uh, make it public again. Otherwise, after republishing the app, the sheet is gone again. So this pattern of checking out a sheet, checking it back in, if you have a lot of sheets, becomes quite cumbersome over time. And this is what the cloud friend is going to address. Let's see. After you install the extension, you just drag and drop it somewhere on a new sheet. And wow, what was that? This icon moved to the top right. Yes, it did. And guess what? It's going to stick there. Even when you go to another sheet, unless you refresh your browser, this button will stay there and it works always on the relative sheet that you're on. And yeah, if you ever refresh the page and it's no longer there, you just need to find back the one sheet where the cloud friend was on and then it moves back up to the top right corner. And believe me, you will only want to work with this button going forward. When you click it, you see a list of all your sheets. And from there, you can set a tag for each sheet. And what I mean with tag, it's something that ClickSense natively does not know. There is no nothing like a tag on the level of a sheet, but programmatically I can do that. And the cloud friend does so. So that tag gives the intended use of the sheet. Irrespective if it's published or private at this moment, you can set what you intend it to be. And all sheets that you are finishing get the public tag and the ones you're still working on get the private tag. After this exercise, the cloud friend actually will give you a warning for all the sheets that are not set to your intended use. So it marks all the ones that are currently private that should be public or other way around. By just clicking these little checkboxes, it changes the published state. And that way it's a question of seconds to get all the sheets in its proper uh, position for republishing the app. And then the moment of the moment you click on republish app, it gives you a dialogue of all the published siblings or child apps of this app. And you can still choose if we're able to override the data in the target or just the design. Um, and finally, you will click the refresh button. It updates the app in the managed space and you can instantaneously click on the link to check it out. What else has the CloudFront button to offer? Remember that duplicate sheet issue. You want to make a late change to a sheet that is already published. You click on the friend and then check out sheet. And now it enters the edit mode after making it private. And when you're done with your changes, like you've exchanged this one, for example, and you want to republish it now, either you click publish sheet and you're good, or same thing happens if you click on this little reminder here, because it, it knows this should be public. It is also a warning, but here's also the button for it. 
easy, isn't it? And uh, yeah, the last goodie, there is a also a reload button that if you click it, it will execute the load script as a background task. And if you don't like it, you can actually hide the reload button from here. And for the Cloud Friends button, there's, by the way, the setting to not show it in a managed app. So this is the Click Cloud Friend, another free extension by Databridge. And if you want a supported version, however, please reach out to me. You can get this for a little license fee. But uh, I want to spread this. I want Click Cloud to be also the preferred platform for developing Click Sense apps. And there you go. Um, Closing this one with the beautiful song by Carol King, You've Got a Friend. You've got a friend.